Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. As we continue with part 7, the ancient and accepted rite from the Higher Degrees Handbook by John S. M. Ward. Chapter 6, The Ancient and Accepted Rite. The Rose Crux of Herodom is now regarded as the 18th degree of the Ancient and Accepted Rite, whose total number of degrees is 33, in reference to the 33 years of our Lord's life. In practice, however, only the 18th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, and 33rd are worked in full in England, and the last three are but sparingly conferred. In America, all the intermediate degrees are worked, i.e. 4th to 33rd, inclusive. But in England, the 4th to the 17th are merely conferred by name. The 18th is worked in full, but the 19th to the 29th inclusive are similarly conferred by name only. The qualification for the 18th is one year a Master Mason, and for the 30th it has usually been prelate or most wise sovereign, the latter being the title of the ruler of a Rose Crooks chapter. The 18th degree is a highly mystical degree and full of the deepest interest, and in England is restricted to professing Christians. In the USA and on the continent of Europe, however, it is not usually regarded as Christian, and non-Christians can become members. One school of Masonic research has propounded a theory that the Rose Croix was originally Roman Catholic and invented by the Jacobites. Personally, I have, after very careful research, been unable to find any evidence in support of this view. And frankly, I cannot conceive of any conscientious Roman Catholic taking part in these ceremonies. It seems more probable that the degree is due to Rosicrucian influence, and the earliest historical evidence we can find of these mystics show that they were Lutheran. But it is quite probable that they inherited an earlier tradition. There appear to be influences to the Rosicrucian doctrine in Dante, and the Comacini Masons carved the rose and compass over their lodge door at, at Assisi in the opening years of the 15th century. Moreover, the ancient Aztecs who likewise venerated the cross had a very similar rite with the same signs and many of the same incidents. Finally, we cannot ignore the fact that Henry Adamson, M.A., in the Musi Three No Die, writes in 1636, saying, The brethren of the Rosy Cross, we have the Master's word and second sight. Now this shows an association of the Master's word with the Rosy Cross. Personally, I think this refers not to the present 18th degree, but to the Rosy Cross of the Royal Order of Scotland. It indicates, however, Rosicrucian influence on Freemasonry long before the rise of the Jacobite movements, and is in a poem describing Protestant Perth. To revert to the 18th degree as we know it today, we find it has four distinct sections. The first consists of the conferring by name of the intermediate degrees, and the other sections from the Rose Crooks degree itself. It is a highly mystical piece of symbolism and expresses the passage of man through the valley of the shadow of death accompanied by the Masonic virtues, faith, hope, and charity. It ends with his final acceptance into the abode of light, life, and immortality, and with his recovery of the lost word. The badge is twofold. On one side, it is black having in its center a red Calvary cross. On the other side, it is white, edged with rose color. On the apron itself is embroidered a pelican feeding its young, while on the flap is a triangle within which are certain Hebrew characters. There is a collar which is similarly two-faced. On the reverse side, it is black with three red crosses, and on the front, rose pink, richly embroidered. Among these symbols depicted are the crown of thorns and the serpent, 
holding its tail in its mouth. The emblem of eternity. The jewel which is suspended from the collar is a golden compass extended to an angle of 60 degrees, surmounted by a celestial crown. On the side is a scarlet cross within the compasses, and beneath it a pelican feeding its young. On the reverse, the cross is silver, with a silver eagle raising towards the heavens, and on both sides at the joint of the compasses is a rose. Despite its present Christian setting, it appears that this degree in its main details is a very ancient ceremony. All its essential features are found in the Bora ceremony of the Australian Aborigines, one of the most primitive races still living. In India and China, the signs of this degree are associated with God, the Preserver. In ancient Egypt, certain parts of the Book of the Dead cover the same ground and show the same signs. In use, the ancient Aztecs in Mexico appear to have had practically the same ceremony as already stated, and some of the signs, which they make have survived among the Red Indians to this day. In medieval Europe, we find constant examples of the use of the two principal signs employed as, for example, at the Kronach Cathedral in both 12th and 15th century work. In a fresco at Ball, painted in the opening years of the 16th century and in a 17th century panel room in the Engadine Museum at St. Mordet's Moreover, a certain sign associated with the ninth degree of the ancient and accepted rite which indicates sorrow is also found side by side with these rose crook signs in every one of the above mentioned cases in Europe. Facts like these cannot be brushed aside lightly and preclude us from accepting the view that the rose crook was invented in the 18th century. Indeed, the Mexican codices which practically show the complete ceremony are at least two and a half centuries earlier than the date at which it has been suggested that the degree was invented. The Grand Elect Knight Kadash. The other name for this, the 30th degree, is the Knight of the Black and White Eagle. In Latin countries, it is strongly Templar in tone and has acquired a sinister significance because in some of the rituals the duty of avenging the death of Mole and the other slaughtered Knights Templar is taught in a dramatic way since the chief culprit responsible for the slaughter of Mole and his Knights were Philip, King of France, and Clement the Pope. This fact is stated to have been utilized to teach the candidates that King and Church are the oppressors of the people. Probably, this inner meaning is by no means so universally applied on the continent as anti-Masonic writers pretend. But in any ease, the English ritual has been purged of any such idea, if indeed it ever possessed it. The degree is an elaborate one, necessitating three chambers and an anteroom, when worked in full, and only the Supreme Council himself can confer it. The regalia which may be worn in Rose Brooks chapters, consists of a broad black sash suspended from the left shoulder, the point fringed with silver bullion, and on it are embroidered the emblems of the degree. These are an eagle soaring towards the sun, holding the anchor of hope in his talons. On the extremity is the banner of England and Wells, which is on a red ground, three golden lions. This is crossed by the banner of the Supreme Council, and below it is a red cross formed of four tall crosses, usually called the Cross of Jerusalem. The breast jewel is a cross pati in a red enamel, with the number 30 upon a blue enamel, ground in the center. From a claret of black ribbon with a silver edging is hung a black double-spread eagle surmounted by a crown and holding a sword in its claws. The word Kadash is Hebrew and means separated or consecrated. The remaining three degrees of the ancient and accepted rite are but sparsely conferred 
and take the place to a large extent of grand rank in other degrees. It will be many years before the young Mason attends to these exalted heights, and therefore any detailed description even of the regalia is hardly necessary in a handbook of this nature. As soon, however, as he becomes a Rose Crooks Mason, he is certain to have an opportunity of seeing from time to time members of these exalted degrees and learning from them as much as he is entitled to know before they are conferred upon him. The ancient and accepted right as now organized derives its authority from the charter granted to it in 1845 by the Supreme Council of the Southern Jurisdiction of the United States of America. But the Rose Croix, Kadash, the 28th degree, and several other intermediate degrees were fully established and at work in the 18th century, as historical records show. Although, how much further they date back is still a matter of dispute. With regard to the intermediate degrees, it is a mistake to assume that they are of no value or interest. They vary considerably in merit, but such degrees as the Royal Arch of Enoch, with its clear indication of Rosicrucian influence, and the account of the discovery of one of the ancient pillars inscribed with old-time learning, mentioned in the ancient charges, is worthy of careful study. And the same is true of several other degrees. For this reason, I strongly urge all Rose Croix Masons to attend the annual festival of King Edward VII, Rose Croix Chapter of Improvement, which is held in the spring each year at Mark Mason's Hall, when two of the intermediate degrees are rehearsed in full. This, then, is the ancient and accepted rite, a great rite undoubtedly which is full of mystical lore and sets out to show its members that the quest of the lost word ends, not at the Temple of Jerusalem, but on Mount Calvary. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.